York's biggest weekend climaxes at Ebbets Field, where Brooklyn's Dodgers, trailing the Yankees three games to one, must do or die. In the Yankee third, Jerry Coleman with bases full singles. Bobby Brown races home just ahead of Gene Woodling, who scores standing up as Brooklyn's Marv Rackley, fumbling Coleman's hit, throws to second base instead of home, holding Mapes at second. Jack Banta, first of five Dodger relief hurlers, pitches to Vic Rashi, who blasts Dodger morale still lower with a single that scores Mapes. With the game only in its third inning, gloom descends on the Brooklyn Rooters as the Yanks go ahead 5-0. Inning, Joe DiMaggio, still weak from pneumonia, finally connects. It just clears the foul pole and drops in. DiMaggio, embodying the spirit that kept the injury-ridden Yankees on top all season, comes home to thunderous applause. Brooklyn trails 10-3 as Gil Hodges, with two on, steps into a rashy pitch in the eighth. It sails into the stands, and Brooklyn hopes come alive. Snyder, who already singled in a run, and Gene Hermansky come jogging home ahead of Hodges to make the score 10 to 6. With Brooklyn fans calling for more, Joe Page, as he so often has this season, is called to pitch by manager Stengel. The last inning is played under lights. With two on and two out, it's up to Hodges. He fans. The game and the World Series are over. The delirious Yankees, winning four games to one, pounce on lefty Joe Page. And sportsmen across the nation salute manager Casey Stengel and his courageous New York Yankees for the 12th time champions of the world.